some of the spiritualists who claim to say they can help cripples to walk, they can help blind people to see, and then uh, we used to see their adverts on TV, uh, which is not true. All that is still spoiling our name. This was what Natia told TV Africa News when we paid him a visit at Gurugu, a suburb of Tamale, to ask him whether traditional African religion is going down the road. His name, Natia, was coined from two Dagbani words, Na meaning chief and Tia meaning pa. The two combined is chief. Na Tia, who says the pa's were handed down to him by his grandfather, a warrior, told TV Africa News he does only what he can do and not what he cannot do. He says the truth reigns at his shrine and asks Ghanaians to believe in tradition since it's the only system the Creator has given Africans through. I would like to advise them that um, they should stop. We are the people that they have to they have to come near so that we will help them. Explaining how the shrine works, Natia first poured libation to invoke the presence of the Creator, the gods, and the ancestors and showed us where he takes most politicians and others who want leadership positions. It is known as Jirakpa. The Agbazo is used to prevent witches and diseases from harming an individual, whilst the Nyamiyo is used when one seriously needs a favor from another. The Kabacha is used to heal mad people and also for providing babies for ladies who could not deliver. There are several others he does at the shrine. His brother, Nabia, however, threw a challenge to Kweku Bonsam, a spiritualist in the Ashanti region. Like, we want Kweku Bonsam, we and Kweku Bonsam to meet at your studio so that my brother will turn him to donkey. Kweku Bonsam doesn't have anything to do in life when we are talking of power. Running up the trip, Natia demonstrated his prowess by using the Wuzu Azo to chant different currencies, including the Ghana cities. Asked where the monies were from, he told us the spirits delivered them.